and we are now live. Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm doing a live Q&A with brand new Modern Warfare 2019 gameplay to show off from all of you. I just got this gift from Infinity Ward. It is crisp, it is clean, it is 4K. It's all the things that you guys have wanted. I'm gonna pop out the chat so that I can see it later on. If you're wondering why I'm gonna, you know, like pace around and get a little bit like off key and Sometimes stuff like that, that that's because I've converted my entire uh, streaming setup to a standing before. streaming setup because I have ruined my back and I just about can't sit down. It's the 2019 it's not ideal. It's playing an advertisement, also very not ideal. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. We're gonna get the chat ready. And the idea today is that what we're gonna do is a live Q&A, and I'm gonna loop this gameplay a little bit, and then we'll go on over to TP. I think it's like only six minutes, so I think you guys are gonna get really, really bored of this gameplay. Fireside Lemon, good to see us. Says the shaders, yes, yes. There's gonna be a lot of new guns, a lot of new attachments. How many maps? Uh, there's a for two v two. There's a there's a like freaking lot. <laughs> I don't know. I only played like five of them, maybe maybe six. Uh, for multiplayer, I can't quite talk about too loud music. Is it too loud? Guys in the chat, is it? Uh, let me know if it's too loud. I can mute the gameplay. I don't see music playing anywhere. But if there's an audio problem, please let me know. Uh, quality's perfect on my end. This is a YouTube gaming issue. Uh, no, this isn't the new Area 51 stream. Yeah, new guns. You're seeing a Glock variant with a suppressor. You're going to get to see the Cowboy Revolver rifle. You're going to get to see an AK and all sorts of fun stuff. Love the torn screen. Yeah, they probably just captured it on something goofy. What type of gun customization is there on the player and on the guns? On the player, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of camos, I guess you could say you could put on, and, and skins. As far as I'm aware of all the things that I've seen, they're all real world, real life camos. Some of the ones that even look kind of goofy were pulled from like some paramilitary force in a country that I've never heard of, but they're trying really hard to keep it authentic. Gun customization, I know that there's camos, we didn't get to use them. I don't know anything about charms or sights or whatever. I know that most of the weapons, SMGs or rifles, had four attachment slots and an optical slot with you could, a freaking ton of optics you're going to see today, and just a ton of attachments in general. So there's a lot of gun customization, not necessarily from the looks perspective, but at least definitely from the performance perspective. Like there was like three or four different kinds of foregrips and stuff like that. Is there a secret weapon camo? Also, is there a grenade launcher camo? Ask John Wick for you. So we didn't really get to do hardly anything in regards to camos because they weren't done when we played. At the time, I can't tell you anything about a secret weapon camo. I will say that there probably is one. I would be super shocked if Call of Duty had a game without a gold or diamond or something. Wow, that shotgun actually got a hit marker, which is rare. And uh, what was the other question? Uh, secret weapon camo, and I'm already spacing out. Uh, I got the new gameplay from Activision. Let's see. Are headshots more important than they were in Black Ops 4? Yes. Yes, they are definitely more important than Black Ops 4. I think when we, we talked to the team about it, they said they're kind of going back and forth. Like, some people on the team want a really beefy, like, almost insta-killy kind of headshot system. Other people want it scaled back a little bit. But from my experience, headshots really do pay off and they're worth it, especially when you're talking about higher caliber weapons. There's a, uh, there's a SCAR, there's a couple of LMGs you'll see, pistols like the Magnum here, and there's one goofier weapon. I have no idea what it's called, but it looked like an FMG9. It looked like a Modern Warfare 2 FMG9. It looked like a weird foldy suitcase gun. It, I know it wasn't that gun. And if I remember correctly, it shot 50 caliber rounds, as in 50 caliber Desert Eagle rounds in full auto fashion, a little bit slow. I kind of hated the gun. I wasn't able to put optical attachments on it at the time because it like wasn't ready for it. Uh, but that gun will definitely put you to bed if you start getting headshots with that thing. Is the stream only gonna be gunfight? Yes. Is there an M4A1? There's a weapon that's a lot like an M4A1. It's, it, okay, it's basically an M4A1, but they have to give it a different name, like an X4 or Y4, because they don't want to license it from the army. But yeah, there's an M4, it's an L85 British weapon right here. Uh, switch to Twitch, okay. Uh, well optimized, yeah, well optimized for PC. Are Alliance and Coalition placeholders? I want to see actual factions. I think that they are placeholders. Uh, I'm not sure what the factions are in multiplayer. I know in single player you have Americans, Russians, and freedom fighters that definitely are not terrorists. 
that you that you uh, play as in some capacity. And I, to the, I don't think you like go around terrorizing people, but they're like, uh, they really are probably more like uh, what's the right word? Uh, what's what's uh, oh, I'm potatoing. What's the people that live in uh, like Kurdish rebels and stuff like that? Those kind of freedom fighters. Gore in Modern Warfare are really strong in single player. Not so much in multiplayer. Very basic blood splatter and stuff like that. Is there any stim or automatic heals? There was a lot of questions about that, especially in the 2v2 mode, because the stim was very popular for some rounds. Here's the cowboy lever action rifle. They put a sniper scope on it. You can headshot people, but I, I kind of prefer to iron sight if I can. So it's a pretty standard get behind cover and wait to heal up. I don't know if it's fast or slow or instant or what. I, it was so chaotic when I played, I didn't get a chance to sit there and like measure how fast it was or wasn't healing. The stim is an attachment that you can get. You can get an attachment for stim, and uh, not an apologies, not an attachment. I'm really tired today. I can barely stand up. Uh, a piece of equipment. It's a tactical equipment. Uh, you probably saw it in some of the 2v2 gameplay with TP, which we'll swap over to, and that will instantly begin your healing process. In regular multiplayer, I didn't use it. I fiddled with it a little bit here. I don't think it's going to be that popular over grenades. In every mode that I played, you get grenades and stuff just by default. Do you think the microtransactions will be fair? I have no idea. Are there vehicles? Uh, no vehicles in multiplayer that I'm aware of. Uh, there may be some in single player. There's usually some kind of mission like that. Is there an AC-30? That is uh, something I cannot answer at this moment. Uh, Joseph Giggles, I did not see any akimbo weapons in the game. There may be some. But I didn't see them, and given the overall like desire for realism and realistic nature of the game, it kind of wouldn't surprise me if they weren't there. Here's a very important question from Chris. This is this is a really good one, and also a uh, riskogenic C. They want to talk about does the game feel too slow and the time to kill. Um, to me personally, the game did not feel slow. It was it is not advanced warfare. It is not you know Black Ops four or three and infinite warfare with jetpacks and flying and lasers and, and just crazy shit like that. It's not that game. It is a little bit slower, but it's still generally on track with the pace of a Call of Duty game. A lot of people kind of like said they didn't like the gameplay because in the two v two matches we had very professional players that were playing very conservatively. On top of that, if you notice when people move around, there's a lot of wobble and weight to the weapons, because in real life, actually I'm not gonna put my gun on stream, I'll get a strike. Or what we'll do instead of the real gun is this one. Like in real life, when you're running and you turn really fast, your gun has a little delay. They added that into COD. COD's usually been pretty sticky on that. And because of that, people say it looks like Rainbow Six or Battlefield. Personally, I think it plays way faster than Rainbow Six, probably like double the speed. Uh, Battlefield, definitely faster than that. Are shotguns primary or secondary weapons? Shotguns are primary weapons, my man. We did not see a tactical nuke. Uh, the 2v2 matches are not short. You usually play a whole series of them. Uh, this is a much more, I think what they're trying to show here is that the game can be fast and aggressive. So these 2v2 matches will be um, a lot faster. I wouldn't really worry about them being slow. Let's see, I can't tell you about the score streaks. Uh, scavenger, there was a scavenger type thing. Uh, I didn't I don't I didn't use it, but I think I saw it in the menu and please do keep in mind that some of the things that I saw in the menus and that I can talk about were like in development and may not be final they may not actually Be what we get in the final game. So please keep that in mind Will this game have a winner's circle like from infinite warfare. It has something like that I don't I don't remember it super well I was focusing a lot more on gameplay because that's more important, but it has something kind of like that Ooh, Joseph Glow has a good question. Are there weapon inspections in the game? The version that we played did not have weapon inspections that I am aware of. However, I talked to the developers about it, and since, especially since you're doing cosmetics and you know loot boxes and stuff in COD now, you have to be able to see your stuff. They said that they were going to do something, like a gesture or an inspect or something like that per weapon, uh, but it wasn't available to us at the time. Can you edit classes while in a match? Uh, not to the best of my knowledge. Uh, no death streaks. I think I'll just go ahead and say that. There are no stupid death streaks in this game. Uh, no armor. Yeah, there's no armor at all. You couldn't put on armor. What's the time to kill? Says Reed Vaughn Williams. Okay. Time to kill is faster than what we would have seen before. Time of It's not, you know, Blops or World War II or, you know, the, the jetpack games with the faster time to kills because they emphasize the mobility. Sorry, slower time to kills. This one is definitely a faster time to kill. I liken it more to either Modern Warfare Remastered or Modern Warfare 3. 
I think if you were to play Modern Warfare Remastered with no stopping power, it'd be pretty similar to this. If you play MWR and put stopping power on, it gets kind of ridiculous. If you're going to go for... I think that overall, when I played, it had the closest feels to MW3 style time to kill in multiplayer, which for those of you that weren't around to play that game, it's probably more similar to Ghost. It kills pretty quickly. It really wasn't a game like... In Black Ops, you'll like run and come and you'll like hit fire people and slide and dash and roll and stuff like that. This, this really isn't that game. Like, you can run and gun, but it, it doesn't benefit you quite as much. This, at least when I played with YouTubers, was a game primarily of getting picks. You would position well, you would do things like that. It wasn't like a, a, a balls-out game. Of course, some people did. They could. You can go balls-out for fun. But it's not going to be blops, guys. The, the, that's the point I want to drive home. You're not going to be able to, like, freaking... Advanced Warfare grapple hook on somebody, knee slide, jetpack backwards while lasering, and you each trade six shots before you die. That's not a thing. Uh, I think most the most common shots to kill is going to be three for like a lot of the weapons in this game. <clears throat> is the PC port going to be well done like Black Ops 4? Well, uh, the PC port I played was not a port, a version of the game, was in better shape than Black Ops 4 at a similar time. So some years ago, I played Black Ops 4 early at E3. And at the reveal, and it was better at the reveal, but especially at E3, Black Ops 4 had some very serious problems on PC. The big pictures were there, but we were missing a lot of details on Blops 4. I'll run this another time or two. And uh, we had just bad screen tearing and stuff like that. This one actually ran the best of all the early access kind of PC games that I played. And I will tell you guys that I played exclusively on PC. I did not play console. Uh, we had opportunities to play on Xbox and PlayStation and PC, and different commentators can tell you about those. I just went straight to PC. I got on my PC, I, I changed my field of view, I changed my mouse sensitivity options, I did some custom keybinds really quick, I did a push to talk button, because we use game chat for that. Uh, I think I changed how I aim down sights, I think I did, uh, I think I did tap aim instead of hold. And then. I went on there and I changed, I tried to change like resolution of frame rate and they said that was a no-no, that was locked down. When it comes to PC, what else, did, what else did I do like right off the rip? Oh yes, I turned off motion blur and film grain and all that kind of stuff and just juiced my frame rates pretty high. So it was looking, it was looking good on PC. Uh, did you use the MP5? I don't think I did. I, I saw a gameplay of the MP5 in campaign and I saw it in multiplayer, but I don't believe that I actually used the base MP5. I was going for goofier, goofier options right there. Oh, <clears throat> the question I forgot earlier. Is there a grenade launcher attachment? Not that I saw. I did not see a noob tube in the game, and I did not see an increased explosive damage perk. I think that's a good thing. I don't think any of you guys really want that. There are, however, launchers. There's like an RPG and an AT4 for, you know, streaks and stuff. And they're, they're pretty similar to how they have been in previous Call of Duty games. Big dumb missiles that just blow things up. You probably saw them in some of the 2v2 gameplay. It'll be like old... If somebody really wants to cheese you and just run around and shoot their feet and suicide with an RPG, there's nothing you're going to be able to do about that. He's ignoring questions on survival mode. Why, Drifter? Because I don't know if you noticed, but there's a metric ton of questions coming in there, friend. I did not play survival mode. I, or whatever the heck it is, like they're Spec Ops? No, you're thinking about Chaos Survival from MW3 or whatever that is, right? We didn't get a chance to talk about that. All the commentators, at the time, they wouldn't even give us the name. They just said third mode. We're working on third mode. They had a wing that just said third mode, which was kind of annoying. We're like, is this Battle Royale? Are you doing like zombies? What do we got? Are we doing dinosaurs? I'm hyped for dinosaurs. And they just wouldn't tell us anything. Can we see reloading while aim down sights? You just did, literally. He just did it right there. I'm actually going to go ahead and back this up. This guy's going to aim down sights, and he's going to kill this guy, and he's going to reload while staying ADS. Now, it will shake your, your sights when you reload while ADS, but that was it. You don't, you don't, it's not like you visually like, see it because you're still aiming down sights. Third-person mode, not that I'm aware of. Let's see. Will weapon design change? Gun optics look like knockoff airsoft scopes. I mean, they might change. Most games change a little bit before launch. I don't think there's going to be like really drastic changes. League play mode, no idea. I know Sony pays Activision out the butt for like, what is it, uh, Call of Duty Esports. So I don't see why they would change that, to be honest with you. They're going to keep those Call of Duty Esports going on. So I'm sure there'll be some kind of mode like that. PC crossplay with console. I cannot answer questions about crossplay at the moment. 
Uh, I I know that a lot of commentators like Eight Thoughts and some people on Reddit have been insisting really hard that there's no crossplay between Xbox and PlayStation, and PC can't crossplay with PlayStation, but only Xbox, and some kind of weird things like that. Uh, the reason I can't talk about this is that to the best of my knowledge, the game is not finished, and what they don't want is commentators and other people over-promising features that don't pan out, or like, let's say for whatever reason, Sony just stamps their foot like they did with Fortnite, said, no, no crossplay, we're Sony and we're mad, or, you know, Xbox or whatever, uh, you know, Battle.net, I think it'll be on Battle.net, they're like, we will never support crossplay on Battle.net. So, uh, I will say that I think that most of you will be very happy with the crossplay, what they what they what they have, but I know that none of it is really set in stone. I can't talk about the UAVs because it's kind of outside the scope of two v two mode. Uh, hit markers, uh, hit markers are hit markers are kind of like ghosts for the most part. You get like little little gray or white ones, and it turns red as soon as you kill somebody. I kind of wish we had the double dash hit markers for headshots. I think that was in Advanced Warfare. I really miss those. I uh, can't talk about minimap yet. Uh, let's see, Storms here it says, is there any character customization like Advanced Warfare? Lots of character customization, not like Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare was Clown and, and Gingerbread Man and, and you know, like crazy camos and stuff. They have a lot of like different operators, a lot of different, even quite colorful camos sometimes. There's gun camos and attachments and stuff but to the best there's also like other like you can put like widgets on your body and like uh your your tactical operator gear and your helmet or ghillie suit or this this face mask or whatever all those kind of things all the things that they showed us were real world military equipment even the ones that i'd never seen before i couldn't recognize that it would be from some country or some military unit that has a specialty or something that i didn't really understand but we didn't see any weird crazy stuff. We didn't see any glowing green camos, no gingerbread men, no dinosaur costumes and stuff like that. It may not stay that way. Typically what Call of Duty games do is they launch with like more serious stuff and as the DLC goes on it gets crazier and crazier because they're trying to sell stuff and get more and more shock value and the game gets less and less serious as the cycle changes. Can you reload while running? I think there's a, like a perk that lets you do that or something. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken on that one. I think you guys just want to keep seeing the same gameplay over and over. It's so exciting, right? Uh, can't talk about class customization yet. I liked the class customization. What can I talk about in regards to class? Uh, I think that um, you have tacticals and lethals on separate buttons. The weapons have a lot of attachments that you can put on. Uh, of course, there's perks. There's a few other little things. They're not operator or special abilities or anything like really crazy like that. But I can't go into full class customization. Hit detection. Ah, perfect. Very good question. Thank you for asking about the hit detection. Yeah, Wayland Utani Corporation. The hit. Uh, I had somebody ask earlier in the stream that got shut down if the guns were hit scans or projectiles. And the answer is that, to the best of my knowledge, all of the weapons in multiplayer are hit scans. They are just straight up hit scans. I don't think Infinity Ward it really wants to screw around with projectiles like Treyarch did. And I think Treyarch mostly did the projectiles to make the the blackout mode work and make sense. I imagine if 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 they do have a battle royale mode, uh, there was yeah there was one full auto pistol Blackheart. There was one of those. If they have a battle royale mode, then they'll probably have to have hit scans. Otherwise, the mode will just be broken for sniper rifles. I think that there are projectiles in campaign. I know that they promised some very large levels in campaign and sniping, and they did talk about a projectile system for that. But I think when it comes to your multiplayer experience, every gun is gonna be a hit scan. Can you scavenger stim shot? I have no idea. That's not something I tried. Uh, man, I didn't try that one at all. Hey, Fireside Lemons, good to see you. You too, Dreamin'. Tick rate, uh, no answers on that. They probably don't even have the servers up and running yet. They, they're they not even going to like make the servers until beta time. So we're a long time away from talking about tick rate. Field of view on console? I don't know. Ask like Exclusive Ace or Prestige or Chaos or one of those guys. I didn't play on console. I know I definitely adjusted my field of view on PC. So that that's a thing. Not worried about that. Aim assist on snipers? No idea. I didn't. Uh, I didn't play console, so no aim assist. We have a question about knee sliding, jumping, wall running, and special movement abilities. Again, to the best of my knowledge, none. I don't think there's any swimming. No wall running. No, no corner peeking like like in Ghost, like the like you know lean thing you would do. I, 
I really, I don't actually think you can knee slide if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong about that. If it is, it must be really minor. The biggest new thing they do is they allow you to corner your weapons. You may see press some button to mount. Yeah, mount. So what you can do in this game, I'm gonna go ahead and get my little gun over here. If you're like at a chest high wall, you can mount your gun on it for more stability on any wall in the game. Uh, you can prone out and do it on the ground. But if there's also like a vertical wall, like a door, you can just quick side it to there and it'll eliminate your horizontal recoil. And the idea is like you would do like a real operator, like you creak the door, you stick the gun in, and then you corner the room really fast. It allows you to do that. I thought that for most of the time, these were not really the best options, you know? But they are, they are options. And I find that it exposed too much of my body to do it. There's a few situations where it panned out. Don't know anything about the beta date. Uh, how does the scope zoom mechanic feel? It's simple. They're not doing the double render scopes like in Ghost or some of these other really realistic games because it causes you to literally have to double render every frame in the engine. So what they do is kind of a compromise. I think what they do is zoom in and then blur other things around the scope so it gives you a similar effect with much less uh, drain on your GPU. Is there an ACR assault rifle? Okay, guys, I want you to all prepare your hearts for this one. I did not see an ACR. I saw something on a drawing board somewhere, or no, it was like in a, I think it was in the presentation that kind of like was similar, maybe. We were like, all was like, oh, is this, is this this gun? But when we played, there was definitely no ACR that I was able to play. That doesn't mean that it won't be in the game. That doesn't mean that you know they're not gonna make it or something but uh, yeah there's doors in multiplayer chrono I think I I'll, I'll talk about that because I think I already talked about that and I think a lot of people did uh, there's a lot of people that have talked about it yes uh, not every map uh, but quite a few of them have doors regular garage doors little interactable objects and stuff and they're not they're not cheesy they're not broken I can't talk about them a whole lot ah yes super sprinting so you have two levels of sprint you have your regular You've got your regular walking, then you've got your regular sprint with your gun down, and then you've got this balls out sprint where you run with your guns like shaking, and your tiers of sprint determine your sprint out time and your recoil and how much breath it uses up. Is there C4? Yeah, I think there's there's definitely, actually there's definitely C4. I got killed by it. Uh, yes, yeah, Scar H, yeah, MP, I don't know about an MPS, no STG44. Yeah, there's definitely C4. I really, I got, I got bamboozled by that one time. Bum, 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 bum. What would you rate the game right now? I think that's very difficult for me to say with any degree of accuracy because playing in a controlled environment with commentators is not the same as you know playing on, at home. I did see an ump. Uh, I don't think I, I think I'd used it a little bit. Uh, I kind of liked it. it was, I think I mostly used the ump in the uh, P90. So I can't guarantee you that'll be in the final game, and it's probably not going to be the same as Modern Warfare 2. Uh, how is sound whoring? The new engine sounds nice. There's like. Uh, a lot of different effects for weapon reverberation and each one of the cartridges that you drop hits the ground and bounces and footsteps sound different on different surfaces and you know a lot of stuff like that it sounds very nice I when I was playing I did have some sound horing difficulties I don't think they were done with the spatial stuff yet so I could tell object and distance and direction but I couldn't tell elevation there was a big problem with telling if footsteps were on the same level or above or below that that's an issue that I had but it wasn't something that really worries me how does recoil feel? Honestly, high. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, most of the guns I was just miserable at controlling. I'm not the best at aiming on PC, so that probably doesn't help. I don't have any auto aim or sticky aim to help me out, but most of the guns kick quite a bit. How many takedown animations have you seen? They didn't have takedowns when we played. Seeing that on stream was the very first time. How does the bouncy crosshair work? Uh, kind of like Apex, I think it's more of a cosmetic thing than a real one. Let's see, best assault rifle, personally the SCAR for me. Uh, can you use the bipod of the AK or is it cosmetic? Yeah, uh, you can you can mount it on things. I don't. I didn't get a chance to use any weapons that had a proper bipod, so I can't tell you for certain. Melee animation is pretty basic. Weapon categories. Uh, we had pistols, which you've seen quite a few of. We had sniper rifles, assault rifles, shotguns, SMGs. There was like a. I think there was like a knife, a combat knife or something. There was rocket launchers and. Most of the things like uh, DMRs and specialty weapons were under assault rifles. There was a few like semi-auto type assault rifles in there. Do, 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 do suppressors do anything? No idea. Can't tell. Adjustable fire rate? I think, 
I have no idea. There may be some attachments for that, but none of the weapons that I, I played had by default adjustable fire rates or fire rate modes. That might be one of those PC only kind of op op options. No pro perks that I saw. All the perks are normal. That doesn't, maybe we just didn't level them up. No idea. Are they going to use real gun names? Nope, all the gun names are gonna be fake, if I had to guess. Probably because they just don't wanna pay for the license. Are headshots always one shot kill or depends on the gun? Depends on the gun. Usually, not many guns you're gonna live past two headshots with. I don't think this is gonna be blops where you get five headshots in a row and the guy's still alive. That can, uh, that, that really frustrates me. Most of the guns do a lot of damage to the head. I kinda like it that way but it may not be the best for the game because like with Call of Duty Ghosts, that one initially launched with a very high headshot multiplier and people didn't like it because they get two headshots and drop you faster than the lag compensation would make any sense for. Yes, there's AR-15 style rifles. I'm sure they'll have a name. <clears throat> Do the characters talk? Yeah, they make call outs in multiplayer. They call things out and they tell you so-and-so's high, low grenade here. I see this thing there. Last stand and camos. No last stand that I saw, thank God. Have anything in common with COD 4? Characters and guns? Same characters if you just teleported them 10 years into the future. And most of the guns are the same or pretty similar. You know, they're real world guns. M249 LMG. I didn't use the LMGs very much, guys. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you about that. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. How are you feeling about COD right now? Feeling pretty good, to tell you guys the truth. I don't... Um, I haven't been very positive on Call of Duty for a long time, but this one this one gives me hope. Fast and slow reloads like Advanced Warfare, nope, only one kind of reload. A 50 cal and intervention. There's heavier and lighter sniper rifles. I think that when we played, the only one that was available for us was the Dragunov uh, or some version like it, like a Soviet type sniper. And like I think there was like a more marksman type M21 or M14 in the rifle category. Maybe the lever action if you count that. I didn't really get to use them. I saw some of the other ones. Uh, it's it's standard COD stuff. You're gonna have you know your light snipers and then your your heavy one shot wonders and stuff like that. I did not personally play campaign. I just saw other people play it. What are some other good questions? Uh, how's quick scoping? I know it's doable. I got quick scoped a time or two. I wish it wasn't. I wish it would just go die in a fire. I did not quick scope anybody. Uh, slug shotguns. There's no slug shotgun, but there's a few. I talked about the FMG9 that shoots 50 cal rounds. That might as well be a slug shotgun. Female soldiers, uh, yeah, I think. there's. I know there's some in campaign. Oh yes, they're, de okay, I, I remember now. There are definitely female operators, both in campaign and in multiplayer. And I think that's one of the very standard things, like you just choose your gender and then your, your faction and your, your gear and stuff. So there's gonna be ladies on the field. I will probably play as a lady myself. I find that more fun. You can pass judgments if you want. For those of you that hate playing, you know, games with women, if you hate them so much, I don't know why, it should be fun to shoot them. Let's see. Was equipment annoying? It was annoying because I didn't understand it. Uh, a lot of the commentators were testing stuff out, so they were throwing mines and claymores and C4s and a bunch of little things I didn't really know what they were, how to recognize or react to. I, I don't really like any of that kind of equipment. I don't like claymores, I don't like mines, I don't like shot grenades like Blops 2, I think it was. I don't like any of this plantable crap. Uh, call outs in a foreign language, we couldn't change that whatsoever. So no idea about that. Um, kill streaks or score streaks? Very difficult question. I will say that I can't talk about... There, there are definitely streaks. The game has streaks. There were, I know there were some leaks a while back. I think actually it was Blops 4 that like there weren't going to be streaks. There would be like abilities only. There's definitely streaks in Modern Warfare 2019. That's what I'll call this game. I am not at liberty to say whether they are kill or score streaks, but they're definitely, you've seen some of them. You've seen like the minigun juggernaut and a few of them in some of the reveals. M16, you know, piece them shot. Let's see. PP90, I actually didn't see a PP90. I might be wrong. What do I like the least about the game? That is a good question. What do I like least about this game? Hmm. Um. Well, hipfire is pretty trash overall in this game. I don't really like that. Since I can't aim, and I i was a man born with no thumbs, no thumbs, can't aim, uh, I, I've really depended very heavily on rushing in and hip firing people in most modern Call of Duty games. Can't really do that very much here. That's a really crappy strategy. What else did I not like? Um, 
There were, I think that there were a few parts of the game where they went a little overboard on the graphics and made them a little bit too shiny or well lit. Uh, the game, I think, does look very good. It's one of the better looking COD games in a long time, and I think it's easier to do that when people don't fly around the ceiling and stuff. But even even on this map, you can see it's a little bit, a little bit bright, a little bit, a little bit shiny. Uh, why am I asking for a darker and less colorful game? I, for a guy that can't see very well, that's not a good thing, but it, it works. It works for what it is. There's just a few little spots you can use a touch up and directional audio needed a little work. Mm, will Price or any of the old characters be call out commentators? No, they're not. there's different voice actors for that. Did you see Crossplay? I saw a non-disclosure agreement that won't let me talk about it. Eventually, soon, maybe. Let's see, night vision goggles. Thank goodness, somebody's got a good question in here. This is something I can talk about just a little bit because me and some other people may have already talked about it and you've already seen that some maps have day and night mode. You do have night vision goggles, I think in every single multiplayer mode. You can turn them on and off anytime you want. And there's, you know, of course there's daytime maps where it's not gonna do anything but make it hard to see and blind yourself, just like COD 4. There are other maps where you will need the night vision goggles. I will say that the night vision goggles are not cosmetic. They are absolutely essential, and they have some extremely interesting gameplay mechanics when it comes to lighting. As a matter of fact, the night vision goggles and how I had to play with them or around them was one of the more fun things that I did at the reveal. And I, I, this is something I would I could talk 20 or 30 minutes about this, but. I will get a big fat strike Zola if I do that. The, the night vision goggles I think are really cool though. Let's see, what else? Is snaking OP? I, I, didn't, I didn't snake, I don't know. Can you hear the classic Russian Spetsnaz callouts? They'll, they'll, they'll make callouts like in English, like the Americans over here and stuff like that. They're not gonna, they're not, they're not gonna speak Russian. I don't know anything about pre-order bonuses. How was FPS during the demo? Any noticeable drops? Not really. My PC experience was pretty good. I think I'm... I, I'm trying to think, did I freeze once? Did I? No, I think I lagged out of a lobby once, something like that. But as far as like frame drops and bad performance issues and stuff, is fine. Uh, to be fair, I'm running in a, a super controlled environment on exactly the build they want it to run on. It may not be the same for you at home. I don't think anybody had any problems on PlayStation. I think that the motion blur on PlayStation just looks abysmal. I don't know, like all of the last Infinity Ward games have had that. I have no idea why. Heartbeat sensor, nope. Is there an operator that looks like Putin? Nope, PC requirements. I don't know, I bet they're gonna be high though. I bet it's not optimized for beans. It'll run well, but you need a beefy computer. Uh, no AW reloads, can't talk about the mini map. Let's see, come on guys, you guys need to get some more creative questions. Ray tracing, I actually do believe there's ray tracing, at least on PC. I'm pretty sure it has RTX abilities. I could be wrong. They talked a lot about lighting and stuff, and I know it's, you know, I played on NVIDIA systems, so it should have RTX. Pick 10. Uh, Call of Duty and Depths are probably not coming back. Uh, did you see Area 51 map or Aliens? No, there's no Area 51 map or Aliens. Unfortunately, that'd be really fun. No strobe light attachment, Chrono. That was not a thing either. No strobe lights, which is quite nice. Let's see, is there ground war in this COD? Well, at least not when we played it. It, there, it might be there eventually, but when we played it, we did not get a ground war whatsoever. Head glitches, camping, and wall banging. Ask Ashling, Ashling Lap, Ashling Laplace. Oof, Ashling. Sorry, Isley. Tired today. Uh, there are a few little head glitches. There is uh, definitely wall banging, and uh, you can corner camp. There, some of the maps get a little cluttery. They try to go for like realism, so there's like real interiors and stuff. And what that means is a lot of little goofy corners to hide in. A lot of little. You'll see even in the two v two gameplay, people do try to head glitch. And um, yeah, stuff like that. Ashley, I'm sorry I butchered your name. I am uh, I am running on potato fumes here today. Any thermal scopes? Yeah, I think we had one. I think we had some kind of thermal scope. You, I mean, you can use your night vision goggles, which are interesting, but I, I think there is a thermal scope as well and laser sight and all kind of stuff like that. Operator mods on weapons, nope. No ray guns. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, we didn't see weapon variants. Well, we didn't see stat changing weapon variants. Some of the weapons so far have had cosmetic variants that look different. Guess you might get different iron sights or something, but we didn't have like crazy stat changing stuff. Flinch was, flinch was rough, <laughs> especially for me on PC, because I'm used to playing like no flinch games like Overwatch and stuff. So that was a little bit rough for me. 
Mm, there's map interaction, but not much in the way of map destruction. There's stuff that you can interact with on the maps, and I can't talk about that a whole lot. Uh, none of it's major. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be like hitting switches all the time. But there's not much weapons. Are there any weirder weapons like the chainsaw from COD Ghost? Only really the cowboy rifle is what I saw. I think there's like a sawed off over and under double barrel shotgun and a few things like that. But overall, not not so much. Uh, hard point and multiplayer bumper jumper. I don't know. I didn't play on console. Bump but a bump bump bump. How are we going here? Uh, do your weapon or perks determine your character appearance? No, they do not. Your character appearance is customizable separate from that. What's the largest kill streak? One that I never earned. That's for most for certain. Glad you like the cooking video. Hard po Oh, God. We played a lot of modes for multiplayer. I can't talk about any of them. I do think it was 6v6, Shane. I th None of this is set in stone. Don't worry about that. Is there dead silence? There was similar perks. There was, there was some stealth perks. In the office with everybody screaming and stuff, and we didn't, we were like going balls out, we didn't use them, but there's a couple of stealthy type spurks, and I'm pretty sure that Dead Silence is on there as well. Uh, I did not see a theater mode. I assume that we will not have a theater mode, as that's kind of phased out in, in favor of the like easy game capture and you know current generation consoles. Stock, lightweight stock, and heavy stock. Um, I didn't use the stocks like that, but there, I know that there's like a Right, there's like vertical foregrip and angled grip and potato grip and wedge grip and all these kind of grips and like uh, like sidebars and just just a ton of stuff to put on the guns and when we played most of the attachments weren't like working right so we couldn't put them on the guns we could just read the descriptions and each one did a different thing like major recoil reduction but slow aim down sights minor sight increase and in horizontal recoil like all these little little things going on yeah kind of like rainbow I guess Reload cancel? Yeah, you can reload cancel. That's a th I mean, you, can, you can't like YY quickscope, but you can re reload cancel. That's, that's definitely a thing. Any inherent engine lag? Very difficult to test uh, when I played. I'm not aware of any inherent engine lag, but there almost certainly has to be some. It's Call of Duty. It's running on the same engine. It's going to be there in some capacity, you know. Clan Wars. I'm talking about Clan Wars. Man, I hope to goodness that there's no Clan Wars <laughs> whatsoever. Um, that would... I hate Clan Wars, guys. I know a lot of you loved it, but it made playing the game casually, like, absolutely miserable. Majid Hamid, good to see you. You think it'll please the COD community? I don't know, man. The COD community in general is a very angry, very feisty, very worked up community. They love being pissed off. They love being, uh, they love to hate the game. They don't do constructive criticism. It's kind of funny because every year it's been like, we want a modern realistic shooter. Here's jetpacks. We want a modern realistic shooter. Here's World War II. We want a modern realistic shooter. Here's space. We want a modern realistic shooter. Here's robots and stuff. We want a modern realistic shooter. Here's a modern realistic shooter. I don't like it. It's slow. It looks ugly. Where's my camos at? Like, I just honestly, like, I guess I'm a part of the COD community, but I quit giving one single flying fudge sickle what the greater community has to say about anything. If I spent my life concerning myself what... The, you know all the mouth breathers on Twitter and Reddit and YouTube comments said then I would I would I would just blink out of existence my, my brain I'd go galaxy brain and just explode and cease to be Do animations affect playability not to the best of my knowledge motion blur can be turned off uh, health regens normal not like blops 4 menus looking good I only did it on PC so I can't tell you about that bump but a bum let's see nobody got a nuke I don't think there is a nuke I just know that nobody got one. If, if nobody got 25 kills in a row or 30 or whatever the heck. So I'm assuming not. We really haven't had a nuke since Modern Warfare. No, you had them in a, we had them in Infinite Warfare, but I don't think they ended the map, you know. Not much Gorn multiplayer. Split screen was not available for us. Let's see. All right, guys, I think that I'm going to be wrapping up here on YouTube. YouTube is kind of like algorithmically hard capped at a certain time for videos to do good and perform good. And if I go beyond that, very bad things happen. So I'm going to start wrapping up this YouTube stream, but I will be continuing on Mixer, which you can find a link down there below to in the description. And for those of you that are new here, Mixer is primarily where I stream. I don't do a lot on YouTube. I've got my Mixer link, just goodoldmixer.com slash drifter. It's available down there below in the description. You can follow me on Twitter if you want more questions, or if you for the like 3K of you that are still here, do me a favor and just drop a like on the video. That helps discoverability and the algorithm. It helps me, you know, beat out all the clickbait channels and stuff like that. So if you've enjoyed any of this, if you've learned anything, if I answered any of your questions, please 
drop a like, it helps a ton. Give me a little like spike. And outside of that, I'm gonna be transitioning over to Mixer right now. We are going straight to Mixer, ladies and gentlemen. Mixer.com slash Drifter, there's a link down there below. It's gonna take me all of like two minutes to change over. I just gotta paste in a new stream key. So we will have more questions and answers over there. I'm gonna get a little water too, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be posting the raw gameplay in 4K. And if you did enjoy this video, well then I hope that you don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.